So these are the Totso T10s, truly wireless earbuds. They retail for $40 on amazon.com. They have 40,000 reviews, four and a half star rating, and happen to be some of the best budget selling, truly wireless earbuds you can pick up on Amazon. I bought these myself because I had to find out exactly what makes these things so special. Now, when you buy this product, this is exactly what you get in the box. You get three sets of ear tips, depending on the size of your canal, you can swap them out. You get this little cable that can be attached to the side of the case so you can strap it on things. And of course you get a charging cable. Now, unfortunately it's micro USB, but again, this is a $40 pair of truly wireless earbuds. What makes these things so interesting though, is that you get wireless charging. I mean, there's not a lot of $40 truly wireless earbuds that support wireless charging. The case itself is made out of all plastic. It's a thicker case, not as big as the Powerbeats Pro, but definitely bigger than the AirPods Pro or Jabra Elites. Now inside you have the two earbuds. They're nothing special in terms of design. They both have one button on the side of the earbuds, they are flush with the earbud itself. And when you put it on, it's definitely not the most comfortable button to press. Like when you push it, you're pushing into your ear and it doesn't feel satisfying. Unfortunately, the buttons don't do much. Like you can basically use it to pause, play, or activate your phone. It doesn't do anything else. You can't skip tracks, nor can you increase or decrease the volume. Now, when you first take these out, you pair them to your phone via Bluetooth, and one bud has to connect to the other bud, which then connects to your phone. So there's a little bit of foreplay going on, but the magic happens and they work. The case notifies you when they're charging. Like when I have them in here right now, they'll light up red, which means the buds themselves are charging. And then you'll get four lights on the back to let you know how much battery life is left in the case. Speaking of battery life, I'm getting about three hours with the earbuds and then an extra nine hours if you include the charging case. So you'll get through the entire day, but battery life is nothing compared to some of the products that have come out recently. But you do get something interesting that other competing products don't have, and that's IPX8 certification. You could take these headphones, dunk them in water up to one meter for 30 minutes and they're going to survive. And that's pretty impressive for 40 bucks. Now, sound quality is interesting. Like if you're listening to a lot of podcasts or songs that really emphasize the vocals, these headphones sound pretty good. Are they gonna blow you away? Obviously not, but they do a good enough job that you'll be satisfied for its price point. They do push it up, which means you lose out on the low end. You can still hear the bass, but it's not as meaty as other truly wireless earbuds. But unfortunately, the call quality on this is pretty bad. Like you can tell it was an afterthought from this company, which is weird because one of the primary functions of the button on the headphones is to answer and end phone calls. I sound like a depressed robot to the other person on the other end of the line. So this is exactly what the microphone sounds like. This is exactly what the other person is going to hear. It is not the greatest sound. You can tell that voice quality was definitely an afterthought. And finally, audio delay. I had none of it when I was watching movies or playing games, so they did a good job of making sure that the audio is synced when you're watching content. So here's the bottom line. The Totsu T10s are worth $40. The fact that it has wireless charging and IPX8 certification is already worth 40 bucks. Yes, the sound quality is not the greatest, but it's good enough for listening to podcasts and listening to music. However, if you're someone who's gonna use these things for phone calls, I would definitely steer clear from this product because the audio quality on this for phone calls is absolutely terrible. Anyways, if you're interested in picking them up, I placed a link in the description down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.